ओके हाय वेलकम टू माय जर्मन लैंग्वेज क्लब सो टुडे विल डू लॉट ऑफ वर्ब्स कॉन्जुगेशन इन जर्मन लैंग्वेज सो टुडे वी हैव द वर्ब्स कॉन्जुगेशन बेसिकली टुडे वी हैव द वर्ब्स कॉन्जुगेशन इन जर्मन लैंग्वेज I will give you lot of verbs today so that you will come to know like what are the verbs conjugation because today we have a pattern of a one, a one level, entire verbs rule, entire verbs like which you use in your daily routine. Is it clear to you? If I say like ish, you know because that is I, ish pila, speak after me. Speak after me. Ich spiele Fußball. Ich spiele Fußball. Ich spiele Fußball is basically ich spiele. Spiel is my verb to play. Spiel is my verb to play. Ich spiele Fußball. I play football. I play football. So put football we pronounce as in fußball. Fußball. Ich spiele fußball. Ich spiele fußball is I play football because we are doing the <coughs> entire the verbs pattern like how to you know what is the verbs. We have next verb is lernen. Speaker lernen. So lernen verb we use as to is to learn is to study. Learning, learning is to study. See, we have ending. Ending, we have an ending. Ending, e n. So this is we have ending. Ending. In German language, we have an ending, which is ending, and ending is I would say here, that's a, uh, uh, that's an e n ending verb, right? So learning. Okay, we have one verb, common. Is to come. Is to come. We have verb. Next verb is wohne. Wohne is to live. Wohne. Wohne is to live. Hören. Speak up. Hören. Hören is to listen because we are doing the verb pattern. Is to listen. That is to listen, hearing, speak up, marken. Marken is to make, is to do. Marken is to make. The next we have is uh, see. For example, if I will say I come from China, ich komme. I come, kommen. So ich komme. I come from China. Ich komme aus China. Ich komme aus China. If I will say I come from China. Ich komme aus China. If I will say you come from Japan. For example, I'm asking to you. You come from Japan. You come from Japan. Like you come from Japan. So you come. We are asking a question. Okay, kommt ihr? Kommt ihr? Okay, kommt ihr aus Japan? Aus Japan. I'm asking like you come from Japan. Kommt ihr aus Japan? Is it clear to you? Okay, so basically in German language, let me rub this pen down, please. Pen down entire pattern, please. Okay, have you done this? Okay, let's move to a pattern of. See, in German language, we have regular and irregular verbs. We have regular and irregular verbs. Okay. So the regular verbs like we have uh, endings and the irregular verbs we don't have a ending. Is it clear to you? 
okay so for example we have a one verb learner if i want to convert learner learning okay so that is do learned i want to convert do that is do learned is it clear to you okay but if i want to convert if i want to convert the same with sprechen the same way sprechen with do conjugation okay that sprechen would be sprichst do sprichst so here we have rather instead of i we have instead of e we have we have inserted i over here so this is my irregular verb and this is my a regular verb okay so learnen where we have a same ending do learns but here idly that should be a this is idly do sprichst this is sprechen is to speak up is it clear to you see we have a lot of verbs over here like we have heisen 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 is to be called heisen <coughs> is to be called okay we have a next pattern like wohne wohne is to live speak up wohne wohne is to live speak up wohne wohne is to live okay the next verb we have is machen speak up machen is to do so i am giving you the verbs like you can make it your own way because you already have a way if you will go back my previous uh, pattern so i have already uh, given you the details like how we can word ich heisen ich heise du heist okay wohne is to live machen is to do so these are the verb speak up spielen <coughs> speak up please spielen spielen is to play speak after me spielen is to play speak up spielen studieren speak up studieren speak up please studieren studieren is to study studieren is to study so here we have lernen sprechen heisen wohnen machen spielen studieren is it clear to you the next we have verb is arbeiten speak up please arbeiten arbeiten is a is a verb to work arbeiten arbeiten is a verb to work the next we have is schlafen speak up please schlafen schlafen is to sleep speak up please schlafen schlafen is to sleep essen speak up please essen essen is to eat so i am giving you today the verbs so, because you know what if you know like what to say eat in german language what to say drink in drink is is to verb to drink okay so what to say these things so that you then only you can speak out right so the next verb we have is sehen is to see okay the next verb we have is nehmen that is to take is it clear to you the next verb we have is a uh, we have a lot of verbs over here that is treffen that is to meet so these verbs you have to understand okay so the next verb is fahren is to drive is to drive okay so the next verb we have is very important verb that is sein sein is to be sein is to 
B. Okay. So, pen down please. Lernen, sprechen, heißen, wohne, machen, spielen, studieren, arbeiten, schlafen, essen, sehen, nehmen, treffen, fahren and join. Is it clear to you? So, these are the basic the verbs. Because I will give you the load of verbs to live with today. Okay. So, <clears throat> the next verb we have is join. Join is basically your should. So this is my basically if I want to convert join. So what I will say ish join. If I want to convert, see I'm giving the verb conjugation also. This is a verb conjugation. Okay. Ish join. Do zoist. Do zoist. Okay. Easy zoi. Okay, the next view we have is we are join. We are join. Then we have is ear zoit. Ear zoit. Is it clear to you? And z join. So this is my verb conjugation of join. The next verb we have is a, uh, uh, we can say a, uh, wine. The next verb we have is wine is to want basically. So what I will <coughs> wine is to want. So if I will say I want right. So what I will say ish will. Ish. Will. Okay. Do willst. Do wells okay. We have a r z well. Is that clear to you? This is a verb conjugation basically. Wine is to want okay. Ish well, do wells, a r z is well. We are wine. Speak up, please. We are wine okay. We have ear white, ear wild. Is it clear to you? Then we have Z wine. Clear? Yeah. So the my join and we have a verb is to want, which is wine. Is it clear to you? Okay. So I've got a lot of verbs. Like we have a verb is a uh, ligand. The next verb we have is ligand. The next verb, okay, that ligand is to lie. Ligand is to lie. Is that clear to you? Okay, so I can say like this: ish liga do next. You can say like this: ish liga, right? Okay, do next. Is it clear to you? A Z left. A Z left. Is it clear to you? A Z left. We are legal. We are legal. We are legal. Okay. And then E left. Uh, 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 uh. We are legan elect. In shoulder bong. In shoulder bong. Okay. Then we have is elect and z legan. Is that clear to you? Pen down, please. 
so we have join verb we have join verb and we have the verb is legal is it clear to you so let's move to a next pattern because today the portion is for your verb conjugation we have today the only portion is for the verb conjugation so that you will come to know right so we have didn't speak of didn't didn't that is to think didn't is to think okay so if i will say i think ich denke is it clear to you du denkst du denkst is it clear to you er sie denkt er sie denkt okay then we have we are denken denken okay then we have a uh, ya denkt ya denkt and sie denken is that clear to you okay so we pen down please pen down please okay so the next we have the verb is nim is to take the next one we have is nim is to take if you will say i take i want to take okay so what will say ich nehme i believe you will understand and i patron okay du nimmst this is basically my irregular verb okay er sie nimmt er sie nimmt okay then we have wir nehmen wir nehmen okay then we have ihr nimmt ya nimmt is it clear to you and sie nehmen sie nehmen so basically these are the verbs which i am giving to you the next verb we have is tun is to do tun is to do okay so now you can say like this ich tue is to i do ich tue is to i do okay do toast <coughs> do toast okay er sie tut so basically if you say i do you do okay then we have a uh, we are tun your full verb over here we are tun okay the next verb we have is ia ia tut the next conjugation ia tut okay and then we have sie tun so basically this is the verb ich tue du tust er sie ist tut tun tut tun is it clear to you so basically this is to to do to take and to think all right made of this yeah all right so i believe you are understanding the entire concept like in language we have first verbs because the verbs play a vital role okay like the next verb we have is mugen okay that is to like that is to like okay so what i will say ich mag ich mag ich mag is your basically your i like okay du magst du magst 
जो मार्क्स इज बेसिकली योर यू लाइक ओके लाइक इन फॉर्मल टर्म्स ए आर जी मार्क ए आर जी मार्क ओके द नेक्स्ट वी हैव इज वी आर मुगन ओके एंड हेयर वी हैव ई मॉक्ट मॉक्ट एंड द नेक्स्ट वी हैव इज जी मुगन जी मुगन इज दैट क्लियर टू यू दिस इज अ वर्क टू लाइक आई लाइक यू लाइक इन टर्म्स ऑफ इन फॉर्मल ही शी लाइक्स वी लाइक यू लाइक इन टर्म्स ऑफ फॉर्मल जी मुगन दे लाइक इज दैट क्लियर टू यू या so these are the verbs basically we have a lot of verbs over here like we have the next verb is badoiten badoiten is to mean basically the meaning basically badoiten badoiten that is to mean badoiten okay the next verb we have is a uh, we have a uh, i can give the next verb over here the next verb is fagleichen okay speaker that is fagleichen fagleichen uh, is basically to compare fagleichen okay that is fagleichen is fagleichen is basically your uh, to compare fagleichen is to compare there are a lot of verbs over here for like in we have a zin is to see basically is it clear to you the next one we have is hyphen speak up that is to help hyphen so what you can do is <coughs> uh you can jot down these verbs and you just try yourself to go for a conjugation like we have done the conjugation okay hyphen okay the next we have is a uh, studieren studieren that is to study that is to study hyphen is to help okay and uh the next one i can give it to you unbeaten unbeaten is to offer basically unbeaten unbeaten ungebot we have ungebot is also to offer unbeaten is to offer unbeaten unbeaten zen hyphen uh for like in the titan mugen okay the next one we have is schliesen speak up schliesen schliesen is a verb to basically to close to con conclude karna to conclude and to close is that clear to you so we have a schliesen okay the next one we have is a uh, a given next one we have is a given a given is basically very important verb a given this is a verb a given is basically to uh, result result uh, arise is that clear to you so pen on these verbs which is very important but don't turn for glycon zen hyphen sudiren and byton and beaten and gebots and beaten and gebots occasionally zen uh, egben mugen so this is a verb basically uh, wherein it always help you to speak language is that clear to you yeah okay so a lot of verbs we have because today uh, the only pattern we have is the verb okay the next verb we have is interesting 
Uh, that is no i will not give these verbs uh the next one we have is forgin forgin is basically to decay to elapse forgin is basically to decay and to elapse pen down please to decay pen down please pen down please Speak up, please. Okay, one second. <clears throat> okay, forgin is basically to decay and to elapse. Okay, the next one we have is wanton. The next one we have is wanton. Speak up, that is to waiting. That is to waiting. Okay. That that is for gain. Watching. Okay. The next verb that is to waiting. Okay. If you're waiting for someone, so you can use watching verb. Okay. The next we have is uh betrafen. Betrafen is basically to affect and to concern. Betrafen. Betrafen. Betrafen is basically uh to affect concern. Okay, the next verb is we have to wound. Wound is to live. We already have done wound verb. Is to live. Is that clear to you? So these are the verb basically. So speak after me for gain, watching, betrafen, and wound. The next verb we have is a watching. A watching is to expect something. A watching. is to expect something is to expect something is that clear to you so these are the verbs okay uh, like to expect if you want to say i want to expect something i want is ish will then you can apply the verb awaiting is that clear to you yeah so the next verb is we have is anfangen anfangen is basically to begin speak up anfangen Anfangen is a verb to begin. So I'm giving you the verbs today so that you can at least come to know like what to say begin in German language Anfangen. Okay. Uh, the next we have is uh, Bidden. Bidden is basically to educate. Bidden. That is basically Bidden is Bidden. That is to educate to form. To educate and to form. Okay. The next one we have is uh, you can have like this. Uh, ozen. Very important verb. Ozen. Ozen is a verb to appearance. Ozen is a verb to appearance right we have a next verb is uh entweaken entweaken is basically to dwell up entweaken this is a verb basically to dwell up this is the verb okay so that is entweaken and we can is basically to travel up karna, to dwell up. So here we have a lot of verbs over here. Like uh, the next verb we have is uh, ear can. Okay, that ear can is to detect. Speak up. I'm writing over here. Uh, I can write over here. Okay, we have ear can. That is to detect, to admit, to detect and to admit. Okay, so uh, the next word we have is Raiden. Raiden is to talk. Raiden. 
Raiden is to talk. Okay, so speak this word for Vachin, we have Betrefin, Woon, Evachin, Bidden. Okay, so we have Intrikin or Zain. We have the verb uh, Erkin, Raiden. So these are the verb basically. See, if you, for example, you want to speak very good German language, right? So in that case, you have to have the vocabularies in place, basically the verbs in place. Is that clear to you? Yeah. Okay. So pen down, please, so that I can uh, move to a next pattern. Pen down, please. I want to give it to next verb also, which is a uh, written we have. Okay. The next we have is air shine. Very important verb very very important verb that is very important verb air shining okay very important Chalo. what I will do is I will write in over here this verb okay I can write over here that's a very important verb air shining Air shining is a verb basically to appear, to seems, to appear. Air shining. Air shining is a verb to appear. Speak after me. So, this is basically the verb saying, like how we can conjugate the verbs, right? How we can move forward to a verb pattern. And definitely, all the verb pattern, because if you know, like a uh, the, the, the next verb we have is Trefin. Trefin is to meet. Trefin. So that is to meet. Okay. So w the next verb we, we, we have is Sukun. Sukun is to search. Okay. So what you have to do is you can you can repeat this link again and again so that it will help you out in order to understand the language verbs and definitely i will give you the next verb also because these are the i think 50 50 40 40 verbs i have given to you so i'll be the more verbs okay once we have the because obviously i will give the lot of verbs we have a lot of verbs over here but yes first you have to understand those verbs these verbs and we'll give it to you the next one then the next pattern okay so by the time take care bye bye